Okay, here we are in Lightroom. The very first thing I wanna do is turn this into a black and white. So I'm gonna come right up here and click on black and white. Now that we have it in monochrome, I'm gonna drop down the light panel and we're gonna play with some of these settings. So first and foremost, I kinda like the exposure. I really wanna add a little bit more contrast into it. I have this really cool trick where I take the highlights down, but I bring the whites up a little bit. It really helps bring back some of the contrast in the snow. Now I'm gonna open up my point curve. I like my blacks, but I like to be able to control them a little bit better. So I'm gonna bring that up and then I'm gonna come back up here to my blacks and I'm gonna pull that down just a bit. Now, that gives me a really good starting point. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop. This is a great image, but this is an even better image. I'm gonna hit enter or return on my keyboard. Now, we've got something to work with. Let's start with some masking. Showing. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click on the masks, and I'm gonna tell it to select the subject. See, it has the subject right here. The first thing I wanna do is invert that mask. While I do want to edit this guy, I wanna edit it the other way around. So we're gonna invert the mask, and now we have access to the background and not the subject. Let's go back into the light panel. Now that we have a mask selected, we can edit just the background in this mask. Pull the exposure down just a hair. Let's bump that contrast up a little bit. I want to make sure that the highlights are bumping, but they're not drowning out my snow. So whites down and let's open up the shadows just a hair, but let's make our blacks a little darker in the background. Give it a little bit more body. Now we're going to hit enter or return and that's going to finalize that mask, but don't worry, we can always get back to it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a radial mask. So let's go up here, click this. We're going to add a radial gradient. We're going to draw it out on screen, pull it down into the center. And essentially what we're doing is we're creating a vignette. But the cool thing about doing it this way is you get to control what gets vignetted and how that vignette works instead of just using the effects in the vignette panel. So we have our mask. Now we're going to click invert again. Boom come back into the light panel. We're going to turn the exposure down just a hair so that we get that nice vignette. Gonna bump our whites in there because we definitely want that higher contrast. And we're gonna pull our blacks down just a bit. That's a great vignette. We could probably bring our shadows down just a bit and that would add to it. We're gonna hit enter or return to finalize the mask. We're gonna go back to our settings panel and we're gonna make one last run on the entire image. I'm gonna click on the curves, pull it down just a touch, click on the top, pull that up just a touch, and now we have a contrasty image that has a great vignette and has made it so that we can affect the background while soloing out the subject. And that is how I do black and white edits on my street photo.